Okay, so this is <laughs> the starting point of my flat. So it's just one little room. It's got everything in it. It's got the kitchen. It's got the living area in the center. And then the bedroom over there. I picked it because it was a really big space where I can fit everything that I have in. I can get everything that I need to do here. And it's a reasonable size and a reasonable price. And obviously I've got my own little kitchen spot, which I'll definitely be doing up. And we've got the bathroom, which is very small and simple. It is what it is. Got my furniture over here, which I'm definitely going to be getting rid of. For some reason, when I actually got the flat, I didn't realize there wasn't a radiator. So right now it's heading up to summer so I can like live and that'll do its job, but I'm gonna have to get a radiator fitted. And another thing which is whack is this cooker. Why why did I think it was a microwave when I when I got the place? But it's okay, because I've asked my landlord and apparently I can get a cooker fitted, which I'll definitely be doing because I love to cook. And obviously the furniture it's not really my cup of tea i've got my white furniture getting delivered tomorrow so i'm more likely going to keep that and get rid of this so all my things that i'll be getting online i'll show you once it comes and i'll show you how i'm going to put it in my room and decorate it and whatnot so keep watching to see the improvements and the level up level up level up first thing first is this blind Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but if anyone has these kind of blinds in the house, because it is actually disgusting. I just hate lace blinds. My grandma doesn't even have these. Ugh. Bye. So I have moved house a lot, and these are the necessities. I got all this from Aldi, so this bowl I'm gonna fill it with hot water, and I'm just gonna use these cleaning products for the floor. I'm gonna wash the sides, then polish them. Got some white spray paint as well for like them bits of furniture that I've obviously cracked off and things like that. I've got beer, that's also an essential. Bin liners for rubbish. Obviously some fruit, because I'm not doing a fruit chop yet. I'm just drinking fruit and juice for now. I've had my lunch and I'm going out for dinner. So this is all I need. And also you wanna make sure you've got something that smells nice, like something that's gonna make the room just brand new. And then heaps of kitchen roll because kitchen roll is like your lifesaver. So I've just finished cleaning. I'm so tired, it's p.m. now, so it's about nine o'clock. So I'm gonna go back home, chill for a bit, then I'm gonna come back here in the morning and deliver all my things. I've got a man in a van. My girl, Rox, is gonna help me as well. So yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. I'm looking forward to organizing all my stuff, putting it into its place. Then I can start decorating properly. Let's keep watching. First meal, tablecloth, is a shirt of mine. Yummy, dominoes. We're getting there, We've got all this stuff. Rox is putting my dressing table up. Still looks a hot mess, we're getting there though. Hey Roxa Hilda, <laughs> how are you getting on? All right, just doing the desk. Just doing my desk for my, for my makeup, princess makeup table. <laughs> got dark already. Oh yeah, so I did today. This was where all the bin liners were. Oh, I'm being that way. Yeah, this is where the, all the bin liners were. And what I've done is just move them over there. That's, that's what I've done. Well, I've sorted a bit out. I've put a bit in little places. Oh, I just can't because I just don't know where to start. There's just stuff everywhere. So, this is my new dressing table slash I don't know, desk, so I'm gonna be doing my work on here. So, rocks, bless her soul, just put this up. So, <laughs> right here we've got the desk, and all my makeup is in here. Like, I'm not even joking, this is all my makeup. And you see these YouTube videos, these girls doing like DIY room, you know, 
room aesthetic organizing decorating and it just looks really simple and easy and it's not that easy it doesn't happen overnight Rome wasn't built in a day but I want to see this vlog just showing you the real like this place looks like trash it's not it's all my clothes but it looks like trash this is just all my stuff everywhere but it's gonna look amazing I've got my little kitchen over here god bless my soul with my little tiny kitchen but I've ordered an amazing room divider I can't wait to show you guys it's gonna look dope especially when I don't want to see my kitchen you know when I'm doing YouTube videos or I've got people around I don't want to oh, sorry I've got a jacket hung there as well because you do, do you know what there's just too much stuff happening here morning everyone good morning so i'm off to the flower market but i'm going there to get the last few bits and some flowers obviously for my new place i feel like when you move into a new place you need to get like beautiful flowers just to make it feel at home and plants are always great for your flat in general looks pretty good energy but now i'm going to do my makeup and get ready for the flower market. I can, of course, it does. All right, she's being Marty because we're at the um, flower market. <laughs> no, right? I'm not being Marty. We're going to the flower market. People look at you. I know. See, I told you. <laughs> 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 Flowers in the pouring rain. Do you want to help you? No, I'm talking a bit. Go on. You know, you know how to rip Yeah, now be careful. In a minute. You... <laughs> I did. Ah, again. She shanked herself. And again, blood clot. Aloe vera pan on my burn. Burnt myself on the oven. <laughs> you cute. Yeah, most natural way, right? How's it feel? Feels cool, nice. Mm. Got some gorgeous plants from the flower market. Got some white roses. Got some cactuses. These pink flowers as well are gonna go so nice with my aesthetic. And then I got this. <laughs> this cactus is actually stunning. Hey everyone, I'm not looking cute today. So please just focus on the objective of this video and not the way I look because we're gonna glow up at the end when all my flat's done. So today I am getting all the old furniture that was in the flat. Well it was new furniture but it was like brown, wasn't really going with my aesthetic. So that's all getting removed out of the flat today and I'm gonna go and pick up the lockers. They're like lockers like that you get at school and then also filing cabinet and i'm going to spray them a shock pink with spray paint and i'm going to record the whole process and then i'm going to put it in my room hopefully i have time at the end of the day to actually put it in my room and do my fashion corner and get that on film as well so i'm going to be spraying these i've got a filing cabinet lockers and then chair so I'm going to do the chair gold and then I'm going to do these two hot pink so they match. Just giving them a wash so the paint will take easier. My little hat basket. 
got my shoes. I want to put my trainers here because they're easy to get to. I've been wearing trainers a lot. These are my favourite trainers and sneakers and whatever. Then I've got my rail with my DIY coat hangers. I've got my fake plant, which I got off eBay. Love that. And then my lockers, which need another coat. I'm tired. I didn't sleep very well last night, so... I just want to get a good night's sleep. I need to go and rest myself, get my beauty sleep, get a shower, and um, then I'll get back to it tomorrow. Hey everyone, so I've had the most amazing sleep, needed it. So I'm gonna have a long day today, finishing off this fashion section, and then hopefully I can move on to my makeup section near the mirror. I'm gonna have my creative space with my easel and just other other stuff so for now i'm gonna focus on this corner i'm not gonna rush to try and get the other half of the room done because i feel like i had in my head this idea to get it done within a couple of days but it's really not realistic at all especially when i'm waiting on deliveries you know things get thrown in the works like my furniture got moved out and obviously I've got to work as well I have a life so I've been a little bit more easy on myself and I've allowed myself a few more days to get this done so today I'm going out later for food so I've got like five hours to focus on this half of the room I've got all my clothes that I actually sorted out off camera so I sorted out all these clothes these are actually my favorite clothes right now they're the clothes that I've been wearing the most and all my nice jackets my nice coats my nice dresses that I really want to be on display so this is not all gonna fit on this little rail so I'm gonna have to think of another storage. I'm probably gonna get a new bed frame and put things underneath my bed, like jumpers and things. And I've also got the cabinet that is like these lockers. So for now, I'm gonna put all my favorites on here so they're easy to get to, they look nice, aesthetically pleasing. This is gonna be that corner that is really pretty, you know? Well, not corner. This half of the room is just gonna be the good looking half of the room that is for videos and things like that, YouTube videos, fashion hauls. So, I'm gonna get straight to it. Keep watching to see me revamp this area. Okay, so now I'm gonna do what I've been looking forward to do, my shoe rack. So it's actually a bookcase from Ikea. And another thing, it's super easy to put up and it's really light. Not that I put it up, but I watched the person put it up. She did a good job, so <laughs> bless rocks. Again, she put all my furniture up. So this is from Ikea. It only has a few tiers. I mean, I wish I had more shelves because I've got a lot of shoes, but I'm just going to put my favourite shoes out, like my heels and my boots, because obviously I've got my trainers underneath my rail. Here we go.
Glam from eBay as well. It's like a really modern chic golden black floor lamp. I can't even take the wrapping off, never mind about putting it up. Why are the screws so small though? Oh! This is the instructions. Two steps. It's still quite difficult. Why doesn't that connect? Oh, I can't do it. The like marble is, is going through me like the fabric of marble scratching against my nails. And what's this? Is this a spoon or a spatula, spanner thing? It looks like a spoon. Do you know what? I just, I'm gonna give up really soon. What the fuck? Oh, I can't even put a lamp on. I just got this parcel from Oddbox. This is not an ad, it's just gifted. This is a grocery company that actually gets fresh produce from local farmers. Fresh fruit and veg, which has been rejected by supermarkets because they have like requirements like size, color, and a lot of fruit and veg goes to waste, 30% in the UK. So I'm just putting this in the moving in vlog just to bring awareness because it actually puts money in local farmers pockets and it's really sustainable obviously wasting fruit and veg can actually waste water and co2 emissions so by doing this you're actually helping the planet so it's called odd box and it's based in London for sustainable fruit and veg and you can get this delivered to you every week it actually got delivered in the evening or early hours in the morning they leave it outside your front door or put it in a safe space and I live in London, East London so you can imagine there's a few dodgy people around but my fruit and veg was delivered safely to my home and I actually got some amazing vegetables like kale and rocket and then some veg as well I mean and some fruit as well like kiwis you can see like you've never seen kiwis like this in Asda or anywhere like that and obviously little damages like this on the skin make it actually unsellable for supermarkets which is crazy because what's a little like color and a little bump here and there and a weird size here and there because it still tastes the same so i'm so blessed and so happy that i was able to receive this so yeah odd box get to it so now i have done this little area and this little area i'm really happy with it by the way oh yeah i've also got a chair coming so my mum has got me a moving in present she got me this beautiful shell chair it's like a velvet baby pink slash dusty pink and it's going to be going right here where this lamp is i'm going to turn this lamp off because it's a little bit powerful so that is where it's going to go right there I actually forgot to put my rug down, so I'm gonna put my rug down as well. So this rug I got from eBay as well. The reason why I shopped most of my things on eBay is because you can find some really quirky, unique things that I know I haven't seen anywhere on the high street or on any other online stores. And it's really cheap and with, you know, the actual shipping, you can get it in 48 hours half the time on there. So sometimes it's hit and miss though because some of the sellers are unreliable. So you just have to make sure they've got a good rating feedback. So this is a duck egg, I don't know, duck egg blue I think this is called. And it's a really nice fur rug, not real obviously. And I'm gonna put this underneath my lamp. And my chair will go here, obviously over the rug as well. I 
thought that was a really nice little touch. Obviously, I've got one underneath here, so it's not the same, but it's a little bit different. Now, guys, I'm going to go onto this desk that Roxanne put up for me. So I'm going to be making this a art desk. I'm going to have all my art stuff under here. My makeup area is going to be here. This over here is a hot mess. So ignore it but i've had to push everything over here so i can actually focus on one side of the room so my makeup area is going to be here near the window because it's good light and then here is going to be my art slash business bitch this is going to be my business bitch area so i'm going to crack on with that now so zebra is going to be a main feature in my flat so i've got this amazing zebra rug it was in my other flat but i didn't really utilize it so going to go right in front of my desk, like so. So I've just been to the shop to get some adhesive hooks. These are handy, especially if you don't want to damage your walls, because then all you have to do is take the sticky stuff off and some batteries, because I'm going to put my fairy lights up to keep watching and see how I create my desk space. This traditional lucky cat and I'm gonna put this on my shelf my lucky cat there how cute is that and I've got my gold chair as well I spray painted yesterday and just a baby pink pillow my fairy lights which you can't really see in this lighting so that is the final desk area so now I'm going to do this corner here I've got my chest of drawers one of the poles on this has broken so I have to get one of these from Ikea so that's why there's a gap there so I'm going to be putting my perfumes, a big mirror and jewellery on here so I can get to it really easily here we go Well, half of the room is finished. But I just want to give you a quick shimmy shimmy around this room to see what I've done so far. So I've got the vanity area. This isn't for makeup, it's for jewelry. I've got my perfumes. It's got a big mirror here to look at myself and take selfies and whatnot. I just thought it was a nice little area just to be girly and to sort myself out after I've come out of the shower, which is in there. Got my desk, oh. Just fully fell over. Got my desk area. I love this area. This is going to be my workspace. So I wanted it to be the most authentically me. I wanted it to be creative. I didn't want it to be as simple as the rest of the room and girly as the rest of the room. It's got more of a vibe to it. So we've got my artwork. 
We've got my DIY plant pot, my paint brushes, my paints. Obviously, I am a painter, so I wanted to have my favorite paints on hand. These are my Stuart sample paints, and they are stunning. So I can go to them whenever I need to. I've got my lucky cat here. I've always wanted one of those that you see in the Chinese shop and they're meant to be good luck, obviously. And we've got a nice gold aesthetic over here as well. I really wanted my room to be rich looking, gold, just to make me feel expensive and I thought it was a really beautiful colour to have scattered around my room. I didn't quite realise I'd be having as much as this but I'm happy with it. So you'll see at the end of the video everything finalised because I still might add a few more bits but this is what I've got so far. I feel like I love everything so far, I just don't know what's going to happen. I might want to add some more artwork on here or maybe I might see something in the stores. One of my favourite spots is this, what I finished. This is my little fashion corner. I've got obviously my lockers that I spray painted got my clothes, these are my go-to clothes, like my coat. Obviously it's very wintry theme right now because I am in England and it's really cold. So we've got more coats than anything else here. That is it for now. That's all I can show you now until my chair comes, but when it comes it's gonna complete everything. So I'm gonna do the next part in a different video. It's gonna be part two and you're gonna see the final outcome of my little flat. So I'm so excited to put these out to you and show you my little creative space, showing you my sanctuary and how I did it. Not only on a budget, but staying authentic to me, to my art, not following everyone else in terms of aesthetic on Instagram that you see, on YouTube that you see. I wanted to still be vibrant, creative, and authentic. I hope you guys liked it so far. Please watch my next video, look out for it, and I hope you love it. Bye.